Prices of Porsches are falling and the market is crashing. And in this video, I'm gonna show you which of these Porsches are being hit the most when it comes to the value, explain a little bit about how this has happened, and show you proof that car values are falling and the market is in free fall. It makes for some pretty shocking viewing. It's been no secret that over the past three or four years, the prices of these Porsches have shot through the roof and they've reached prices that even the dealers thought to be unthinkable. Now, there were a few reasons for this, including COVID, component and parts supplying, which left dealers with a bit of a problem, meaning that they couldn't supply or fulfill orders for new cars. So what does the consumer do if they can't buy a brand new car? They look to the secondhand used market and the used market completely exploded out of control. Now cars were going up in value on what seemed like a daily basis, which caused even more hype. People were kind of thinking, hang on, the price of this car is going up and up and up. I better get in while I can, it must be a really good car. Even I managed to buy a Porsche from a dealer, use it for three months, and then sell it back to a dealer at a trade price, and I didn't lose a single penny. But that was then. Things are different now, we're going into 2024, Prices are falling off a cliff and they show no signs of stopping. They're currently in free fall and I'm gonna to prove to you that in a moment. Now I'm not saying that now is the best time to buy one of these cars because as I say, the trends that we're gonna show you and the trends that I'm looking at show that the prices are in free fall and they show no signs of stopping anytime soon. So it's probably really important if you're thinking about buying one of these cars to maybe study the market over the next six months because they will level off at some point, but I just don't think that right now is the time when they're gonna level off. And there are more of these cars on ever on the auto trader. You know, main dealers can now uh, offer brand new cars, the components, the parts are back in stock. Well, most of the parts are back in stock. And so that's what's causing the customer base to now go back to looking at brand new cars, in which case the demand for used cars is no longer there and that's why the prices are coming down. So the first car that I'm gonna show you is a 992 GT3. And I've got some very interesting data to show you. So I'm gonna go onto my computer. Let's take a closer look. Right, so switch my little camera here. Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing on screen here. This is the Auto Trader. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some prices of Porsche. And we're not only that, we're gonna show you the prices, the previous price, prices of these Porsches uh, via a little uh, Google Chrome add-on or extension that you can put onto your computer. And you can look at all of this information yourself. It's not something that special people get a hold of. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in Porsche 911 and we're just gonna click the search here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start narrowing it down a little bit. So we're gonna find the 992 GT3. So where are we? 992 uh, GT3, where are you, baby? Right, here it is, 992 GT3, 43 of them for sale. So I'm gonna click on that. And what you'll notice is that it shows you cars for sale. This one here, say 177,000 pounds, 495. I'm gonna click on the relevance and I'm gonna click the lowest price cars first. So as an example, this one here, it's a lovely Ruby Star Porsche 992 GT3, 164,900 pounds. Now, this here, Auto Trade Price Tracker, shows you the exact price of this car, this exact listing as it's previously been. So. This is information that you only get if you add the extension on, all right? So say basically the 15th of September, 2023, which was about two months ago, 188,900 pounds this car was. Look at it now, 164,900. So that is over 20,000 pounds less than it was two months ago. Two months, that is not a long time at all. Um, and we can scroll through them. This one here was 175,000 three months ago. Now it's 167, so a bit less, a bit less than 10 grand there. Um, if we scroll down though, every one of them has pretty much got, unless they were brand new listed, like this one here has been listed quite recently. So it, it, it's already, it knows what the market's doing this dealer. So they priced it accordingly. So this one here, this yellow one, 169,950. Uh, was 186, so you know there's nearly 20 grand off that, maybe 16 grand. 169, this one was 184,000. 
now 169 so you know there's uh, there's 15 grand off that one in a space of where are we four months so guys the, the the proof is in the pudding that these cars are just sort of spiraling out of control um if i go through to my other cars which i'm going to show you the next one i'm going to show you is say the 992 gt3 rs so 992 gt3 rs where are you 992 gt3 rs there are 10 of them for sale um that one's priced accordingly this one 420,000 now 400,000 so there's 20 grand off that in the space of one month um where else are we looking this one here is 400 grand this one was 450 grand one month ago 50,000 pounds off the price for a GT3 RS 992 and we can we can probably find more there's 20 grand off this one here this black one um this one here was 470 now 435 so there's 35 grand off that one and it goes on and on 444 469 so it's four, that's 25 grand off that is it's it's pretty much proving that the writing is on the wall. I'm just looking at my phone here because I've got a list of a couple of other ones to show you as well. Um, the also the Caymans. Well, actually, no. We'll stick with the uh, we'll stick with the 992. We'll go with the 992 Turbo. What I'm what I'm showing you here is that there's a theme, and it's generally looking at the the supercars, the super high end cars. So let's have a look at the turbos. 992 Turbo S. There's 148 of these for sale. There's only 33 of the 992 Turbo, so 992 Turbo S, click into that. We're going to go to the lowest first. Right, so that one shows a little saving. Uh, this one was 153, now it's 143, so there's 10 grand off there. Um, 155, now 144. This one was 150, now 145. Not too much off there, they've, do, they've done it incrementally, I guess. Um, so I guess these ones, some of these you're looking at like, well, 175, now 145. So there's 30 grand off there in the space of a month. Crackers. 160, now 145. So there's 15 grand off. And the story goes on and on. Um, these are the 992s. The 99, uh, there's also a Cayman I wanted to show you as well. Uh, Porsche, we'll go Cayman, 718 Cayman but it shows the GT4 or GT4 RS, um, GT4. So uh, these, these cars were going absolutely crazy. These are 100, this one here, 165,000 was 185,000. There's 20 grand off there in the space of two months. This is now 170 grand, it was 173, 183. So there's 13 grand off. This one is 178, was 194. And you get the idea. Show you one more, 190,000. Now, uh, that doesn't look, that looks crazy. That's, that, that seems to have gone all over the place, that one. That seems to have come down and then gone back up, which is quite strange because it was 195,000. Then it went down to 174,000, but it's currently showing 190,000. So um, I think that one probably needs a little bit of looking at. Um, there's one car actually. Well, let's instead of looking at the sort of the special cars, let's have a look at also things like the um, the 992, like the Carrera S's, and see what they're doing because it's all very well me showing you the super high end stuff that nobody can really afford. But what about the 992s? Uh, like Carrera S's, Carrera 4S's, things like that. So let's have a look. 992 Carrera 4S, we've got 94 of them for sale here. Deposit taken on that one, that's a Cat N, 65 grand was 99 grand. That's a massive difference. Um, 86, well, let's say 87,000 was 90,000. Was 102,000, now 87,000. Uh, this one is, was 96,000, now 
88,000, 93,000 to 88,000, uh, 105,000 to 88,000. So my advice to you, I guess the upshot of this video is basically to go into these, uh, go into Google Chrome, download this extension. It's just called the Auto Trader extension. And it's gonna give you an idea of where the prices were and where they have been over the past year or so versus where they are now. And if that's not proof that the market is bottoming out or is, is in complete free fall, then I don't know what to tell you because it was always gonna happen against, I guess eventually, when the dealers got their parts back in stock, when new cars became available again, the there was gonna be less demand for the used cars on the market and so, all of these dealers and all of these investors which have had cars where they've paid a lot of money for thinking, well, you know, this is just gonna keep going and going and going. This is proof that it's not. This is proof that people are, I think people who've bought these cars to try and make a bit of money are getting out while they can. And if you are one of those people, I would probably also recommend getting out while you can. You're probably gonna lose some money on it, but if you leave it any longer, you'll probably lose even more. So. It's good for the enthusiast because the prices are now coming down to where the enthusiast wanted the cars to be and to where the enthusiasts can actually afford the cars. I think myself included, I was just kind of like, I'd almost given up because the cars that I wanted, like the 992s, the, the, even the Carreras, the Carrera S's, even up to the GT3s, when you think, well, you know, if I, if I sell what I've got and if I put a bit more money to it, I could probably get a GT3. That is assuming you could walk into a dealer and just say, hey, by the way, here's the money, I want that GT3. It doesn't work like that. It hasn't worked like that for a long time in Porsche. Well, this is, this is evidence that it might be starting to turn the other way and maybe the demand isn't as high as it kind of was because the whole fear of, I'm not gonna be able to get a new car, so I've gotta go and buy a used car is kind of dying off. But check it out, it's a Google Chrome extension. And if you, as I say, you know, it's just basically a short video to show you how I feel about the market and where I think the market is going and what I think is happening to the market at the moment. So I guess a video to show you proof that prices have gone down in price by a significant amount over a short space of time is probably all the proof you need that the market is heading down again. So if you're looking to buy something which is maybe a little bit special, then I would probably say, in all honesty, hold out for another six months or so. Um, maybe even longer, I don't know how long this is gonna last, I don't know how long the correction's gonna take, but it's certainly trying to correct itself and you'll probably, if you hold it out, you'll get a better deal than what you currently see right now. If you've got one of these cars and you're thinking about selling it, uh, it's something special, then you, you're, th you're probably gonna get rid of it in the summer. And maybe you're thinking, I should probably get rid of it now. You should get rid of it now because you stand to lose a lot more money. Also, interest rates as well, they're quite high. I think interest rates are sort of asking around about 10, 11% at the minute, which means that a lot of dealers, they're probably gonna be losing out on the used cars. They're now getting the money because the interest rates are high. Um, they'll always find a way to shaft you. That's just the way it is. And that's how I feel about it in any case. Um, so, yeah, how do you feel the market's going, guys? Do you agree with me? Do you think the market is bottoming it out? Um, or am I completely wrong? I think the proof's in the pudding, but who knows? Anyway, guys, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.